Today on Pro Church Daily, we're talking about 13 premium font resources for churches. Well, hey there, and welcome to Pro Church Daily, the show where in 10 minutes or less, you'll get your daily dose of tips and tactics to help your church share the message of Jesus as we try and navigate the biggest communication shift that we've seen in the last 500 years. I'm your host, Alex Mills. I'm joined, as always, by the boss man. It's Brady Shearer. And today, we're talking about 13 premium font resources for churches. On episode 139, Alex, we shared seven free fonts Mm -hmm. for churches, and we wanted to do the inverse of that in this episode and share mostly the most expensive fonts that have existed in the universe. (laughs) And the reason for that is sometimes when you're creating a new brand, let's say, for your church or a new website, you want to go all in, and one of the best ways that you can do that is with your typography choices. And so we called up our lead designer here at Pro Church Tools. His name is Eric, and we got him to compile a list of premium typography resources for us. The first 10 on this list are gonna be websites where you can find fonts to actually purchase, and then the final three are additional resources that don't necessarily sell fonts, but will help you in your font. This. Right. You know, we've talked about it with royalty free music before. Like sometimes like a, a cheap Soundstripe mm. subscription will do, but then sometimes there's one project you're working on, you probably about Easter time, you just need the right music track and sometimes it's worth 2, 3, $400 to you and fonts can be the same way. Sometimes you're working on a project where you just need the perfect font or maybe you're going through a full church rebrand and you need a font that is going to be with you for a while and maybe you'll you'll find that font in one of these resources. Yeah, let's start with a not premium resource. This is a font uh, that I saw yesterday if you're watching the video oh, no. at Shoppers Drug Mart, which is a pharmacy <laughs> in Canada. It looks like like papyrus, but, but worse. <laughs> but if papyrus was used in a horror movie (laughs) cover. Uh, If you're listening, there's no way to describe it. Just think papyrus meets horror movie. Yeah, it was the worst. So using that as a palate cleanser, (laughs) let's go into the 13 premium font resources. Number one is a website called Klim, K-L-I-M, based on the URL .co.nz. I'm guessing that's a Kiwi site? New Zealand? I don't know. All I know is that we bought the font for story tape yeah. from this company. The font is called Calibre, or at least that's how I choose to pronounce it. And this is a <laughs> premium font resource. If you're looking for, as I've written down in my notes here, outrageously expensive fonts. <laughs> this where is the site for you. A single font will cost you $350 for desktop, and that's only three computers. Right. If you want web use, it's going to be more. I think we ended up spending more than $1,000 on the story tape font. What happened was our designers put together the full story tape mock, right. and I fell in love with it. Yeah. And then they're like, let's start the dev. Yeah. Here's the Here's your invoice for the font. <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> I thought, what? Yeah. You know, it's so funny to think like, I I don't know if when I first started this company, I would have spent $1,000 building a website. Right, right. <laughs> Much less on just the font. But we love that site. The font has a lot to do with it, and it's going to be around for a while. So I... I didn't spend the money, but I would like to call it a worthy investment. So you're, you're on board with it. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Resource number two, this is another website, Lenetto, lenetto.com. More free, uh, premium fonts. A font on there that we use for part of the Pro Church Tools rebrand that we're going through right now is Circular. Mm-hmm. Again, very expensive, even more expensive than Klim. <laughs> it's like the designers set the bar with story tape, yeah. and then we're like, well, if he'll pay for that, what won't he <laughs> <Yeah>. pay for? <laughs> and then they went. So this font was six hundred and twenty dollars for desktop only, three computers, not to mention the web license. Let's keep it right. going. Optimo is another website for premium fonts. Basically, the best way to think of these fonts is like designer clothing. Yes. You know, I'm not going to wear a Gucci T-shirt. Strike that. I am not currently <laughs> going to wear a Gucci T-shirt. Something that might happen one <laughs> right. day. You know, a lot of people would look at that and be like, hmm, "That's a needless." But if you're an NBA player. You feel like, I need all Gucci. If you're Rick Ross, you need green Gucci suit, green Gucci suits. Right. So this is like premium designer clothing for fonts. Yeah. You know, sometimes the stock fonts that everybody has just not going to make it. You need something custom made from an exotic location because apparently all of these are from Europe or Asia. I know some of these domain suffixes are outrageous. But yeah, sometimes you just need to set your church apart and Gucci's going to help get you there. All right, let's breeze through the next several. Typotech.com, productiontype.com, SwissTypefaces.com. You get a Swiss watch, but you can also get a Swiss font. Right. 
Typography.com. This is uh, Heffler and Co. The old Pro Church Tools brand mm-hmm. used a font from here called Whitney. Uh, we use that on our Instagram for the longest yeah. time. They're much more reasonably priced, at least comparatively. Darden Studio. That's D A R D E N Studio.com. Two hundred five TF. <laughs> These may as well be fashion brands at this point. Yeah, these point. are all fake. And then finally, hvdfonts.com. So, 10 premium font resources where you can go and find a font that is incredibly unique, unlike anything else any other church or any other ministry is going to have, especially useful and well worth the investment if you're you know, building a custom website and spending a ton of money right. on it. Don't just throw Branding Grotesque or Proxima Nova on there. Yeah. Find something that is truly unique and set apart the way the Bible talks about. Oh, nice. <laughs> now, you like that? <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about the final four, uh, three resources on yeah. this list that don't necessarily have to do with buying a font, but when it comes to your typography choices, can lend a help there as well. The first yeah. one is fontsinuse.com. And, and Eric said that he really liked this site for looking at how websites are using typography yes. live on their sites. Like it's one thing to go to one of these websites and see their font perfectly displayed with like a singular pastel color background behind it or just a black and white word you know what's the what's what's that sentence that uses every single letter something about foxes running fast oh, or the whatever quick brown fox jumps over the something yeah jumps over the log or something. that was pretty close yeah. yeah quick brown fox so maybe you want to see like okay that's great but it's like when you see a shirt on the rack. Well, what does this look like if I'm actually wearing right. it? This is a great place to, to to peruse different sites that are using fonts and see, okay, how are different fonts being paired with one another? How are they looking like in different sizes and in different use cases? Right, and font pairing is imperative, um, you know, just to kind of complete that look for your site. And so if you're if you're visiting one of these one of these um, sites that we one of these 10 sites that we we uh, just visited and you're, you know, you're spending paying $500 for this font for your body copy and $300 for this font for your headings, but you don't know how they look together, you might put them side by side and realize, oh, these fonts don't work together. They were expensive, (laughs) but not useful. Yeah, and so to see, you know, well-choiced font pairings in the wild is always super helpful. Font resource number 12, a favorite of mine, typewolf.com. There's so many great free resources on this site. Uh, They'll have what's trending in typography. They'll have the site of the day, which is similar to fontsinuse.com, where you can see, hey, here's a real website. These are the fonts that they're using, Mm -hmm. and this is what it looks like. Uh, They have alternative lists for expensive fonts. So let's say you want something like Futura, something like Brandon Grotesque, something like Proxima Nova. There Mm -hmm. are free alternatives. They list those out. They have free font lists, like the best 40 fonts in Google fonts and stuff like that. They even have an ebook when it comes to to, um, uh, pairing and when it comes to other free lists, which is kind of, I guess... A paradox, you pay for an ebook to get a free list. <laughs> right. <laughs> I did buy that ebook two years ago. <laughs> so it must you. work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Final resource on this list as we close this ridiculous episode fostertype.com. Eric noted this because, and this is a good place to close with this episode, you know, it may seem obscene to you that anyone could spend $500 on a right. font. And I'm not going to fault you for that belief. But what's cool about this site, fostertype.com, is this is a designer. I think he only or she only sells one font. Okay. But on the list, when you go to that font, the font is called Blanco. If you click on that font where you can purchase it, if you scroll down on the page, at the bottom or nearing the bottom is a section called Design Notes. And it'll show you exactly how this individual made the font right. from original sketches to creating the entire thing to turning it into an actual file format that you can actually type stuff yeah. out. And and it really shows you, wow, there's a lot that goes into it's building a, a font. It's a ton of work. And I think a lot of us are like, just take that for granted. M- maybe it's just like, you know, plain ignorance. Like we just don't know how fonts come about, but especially when you're paying for a custom font that, you know, not a hundred thousand other people can't download for free, but a custom font that's going to set your site apart. Like a lot of work went into you know, creating that font from the original idea to brainstorming to sketching to mock-ups to actually getting it onto a computer somehow and turning it into a file that you can now load on your computer and use in your site. It's a tremendous amount of work and designers deserve to be paid for that. And so that's, you know, that's like the kind of fonts, the quality of quality of fonts that we're looking at today. 
13 premium font resources for churches. That'll do it for this episode of Pro Church Daily. We'll see you next time. Hey, thanks for watching this episode of Pro Church Daily. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and enable notifications so you never miss another Pro Church Daily. And don't be shy. Hit the like button so we know you enjoyed this video. Don't be that person that just watches every day. You know who you are. And you never comment, okay? At least like the video. Hit the like button. Smash it. Smash it. Don't be a lurker. Just don't be that person. So smash it. Smash it! We'll see you next time. Stop being that person. Just like the video. You thought I was gonna leave. Like the video! <laughs> like it! I like how every week it gets um, worse. Yeah. Well, yes, it gets worse. <laughs> <laughs>